Hi. Um, hello. I'm I'm here. I'm here. Um, this this is Geek Gear. This is the Wizarding World box I had like the other day, and this is the size different. If I can get them in camera at the same time, this is the difference between them. Um, as you can see, one is very much bigger than the other, and I think deeper as well. Is it deeper? It's yep, deeper and wider. So this is not the latest edition of Wizarding Wear. This is the January ge general geekery geek gear box. Um, so as I said on the one that was unboxing this one, that I have decided <coughs> to stop getting the Wizarding Wears one. Basically because it started off as multiple different items. Um, sometimes you got socks, sometimes you got a hat. One time I got a sweatshirt that was really nice. I really like that sweater. And you know, bits of jewellery and then obviously a t-shirt or two. And then they started doing just t-shirts. And I cancelled a couple of times. So then, you know, I'll give it a cancel. Oh, I'll give it another chance. And then it's just been t-shirts the whole time. The difference is now the website is actually saying Wizarding Wearables is four t-shirts. And for £20 that's not a bad thing but I've got enough t-shirts. This beast is the first of the general geekery boxes that I, I, I wanted like one way back when I first started trying this box and I liked it but because the themes were like very specific it's like each month I'd look at it and so I don't really think but from that, from going forward this year they've decided to do away with themes and just have hints and the um, first box of the year is the extra large version which is still £20 so I've dropped one £20 box I've got another £20 box next month isn't going to be this big but for £20 I thought I might as well go for it um, they did leave hints the only hint that I can remember is Batman I, I don't mind Batman I, I'm more of a Marvel fan um, but I like Batman I like I saw Dark Knight was the last one I saw. I've got the animated series I need to finish watching. I bought the um, Adam West series, which obviously is what I grew up with on Blu-ray. So I do like I do like Batman. Um, more of a Superman fan in terms of <coughs> excuse me, in terms of DC. But I'll be fine with Batman stuff. Um, pre warning, um, just kind of a heads up, really. Um, if I look less enthusiastic about something, it's probably simply because it's not my fandom. Nothing to do with the quality of the items. So far, all the items have been uh, really good items. Like, you know, you've seen from the, the uh, Wizarding World stuff. I mean, this box isn't as heavy as the Wizarding World one, but this thing is heavy. This is glass, so that's probably a lot of the weight. But 20 quid, it's going to be a decent t-shirt, quite possibly a pin, and whatever else turns up. So it's going to be worth the money even if I don't like everything in it. Hopefully I will, because I like most things because I'm a geek and I, I just take pleasure in things. Um, you know, because I like, you know, take pleasure in the little things and, and find joy wherever you find it, because that's a good philosophy to have. No, no calls if from this point, just, just slides open. So um, let's dive in. And it's a big piece of red tissue paper. Okay. Um, straight away, it is the, um, Kind of cool item, but not my fandom. But it's something I've been meaning to get into. And once I've got into it, I will wear the shit out of this. Because it is very bright and colourful. And I do quite like the design going on. It is, of course, Rick and Morty. Um, which is a show that I first heard about through Aaron's video here. And I'm... Um, yeah, it's... It looks fun, everyone keeps going on about it, it's a big cult thing, and this is an amazing t-shirt, it's big, it's bold, uh, it's Rick, it's Morty, it's some big swirly vortexy thing of doom. Um, I like it, not quite my fandom, but I will sit down and watch it once I finish Stranger Things. So there you go. 
So straight out of the box, t-shirt, about a tenner, and something I've never seen before. Good start. <laughs> um, okay, quick thing is... Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's, um, it's Marvel Comics. Um, it's one of those comic-y, book-y things. I'm, I'm not going to keep this as a collector's item, so I might just pop it straight out. And um, it is... So I suddenly had a panic moment that my um, video wasn't recording. It is a pen. It is black ink. But it's also got a rubber tip. So it is a stylus. Um, and this probably doesn't work. Oh, this is not... Okay, my tablet isn't powered up at the moment. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that's... um, I like that. That's really neat. Uh probably can't see the detail and it's quite oh yeah there you go so it's all the sort of old school comic design on it which i quite like a little bit busy um good movement on the pen actually i like that it's very light if i had to give it a criticism it's very light but it is um i'm not going to show you my symbol because obviously that's the security but okay I'll, I'll do it i'll do it wrong but you can see that actually works really well. So um, yeah, that's a winner. Ugh. And I've done it wrong too many times and now I've got to wait 30 seconds. But yeah, useful, pretty, um, smart, like it. So that's not bad. Probably only a couple of quid, but actually no, probably not because it's Marvel. And it's a stylus, I've seen styluses on their own be a couple of quid. So to have it as a pen as well. Okay, I'll see a couple of items at DC. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a big item. I'm going to leave that for a second. Um, what have we got here? DC Comics Originals Coasters. Um, as some other people with unboxing channels um, have pointed out, coasters are a bit of a weird collect. I've got other coasters, actually. I've got um, tin, uh, tin ones. I've got one that's like Back to the Future set, which is really awesome. Um, I think it's in there somewhere. I'm logging it out now because I still haven't sorted it out. Still a disaster zone, but oh, these are quite good. Um, show you the back. They are proper cork board and they are thick, so the quality is there. So we've got Batman, Superman, Flash. I like the '90s Flash series um, with John Wesley Ship. I haven't seen the new version, but yes, yeah, so I don't, I don't mind Flash and uh, Green Lantern. I have no idea which one it is. Probably Hal. Maybe. Um, these are these come under the category of not something I'd buy in the shop, but now I have them. Um, they're neat. <laughs> I like them. So yeah, they're they're, they're fun. I probably won't use them because I don't tend to use coasters, but nice little collectors. They've got the um, so the quality is there. So all right, not doing too bad. Um, this is interesting because, oh, oh, okay. It's not what I thought it was. I thought it might be a game or something. It's not. It's a, it's a Family Guy stationery set. Um, Family Guy is one of those shows that I have watched and I, I've, I liked it when it first came out and then I've, I don't dislike it. I've just stopped watching it. But these are, these are worth a few quid. So we've got one side is pens and pencils and does it actually uh okay yeah pick up the yellow that's the one that's gonna have the most contrast uh let's go with the black one okay it's a little fady on the pencils but it does actually have the logo on the pens uh, you can see so that's nice it's not just like generic um stationery in the case it is actually logoed on the thing um that's one side and okay cool that's that's quite neat so you've got your basic pen pencil set ruler eraser pencil sharpener and then a, a little notepad which i'm assuming yes yeah, is plain paper that's not bad um i quite like that i like stationery so um 
again probably not something i'd go out and buy for myself but i don't hate having a copy of it now um okay so we're gonna have to get this out now okay that's the um so it looks like it's more dc than um anything else okay why was the clue batman then that's bizarre so this is kind of gorgeous um justice league print um i'm guessing i don't know all the characters it is an exclusive um really nice art so let me see if i can get them that's obviously cyborg um flash not vision wonder woman superman batman not century I told you I'm more into Marvel, but that's very pretty. There you go, got about light, light off of it. That's cool. I like it. It's a nice print. It's a really nice print, but not my not my fandom. Um, like I said, if it, was, if it was a Marvel print, I'd be way more enthusiastic. This, the, the big item that I've been not looking at. This is cool. I think this is. I don't know what these this is worth, but this looks kind of fun. Um, cont contents one laser etched acrylic superman dual one dual powered light base micro usb rated input that okay so it goes off of plug or three triple a's batteries are not included of course they aren't um the cable is and instructions illuminate your number one hero so this is kind of cool but I, I was, that's the list i was reading <laughs> So we crack this open and see what we've got going on. Um, okay, so instructions, which are pretty much its dimensions and how to set it up. Fairly straightforward. Um, cable is a cable. There's lots of cardboard in here, so bear with. Okay, so the um, it is literally kind of a piece of acrylic with the um, the soups on it. Come on, cow, how do you get? Um, give me a moment. Pop that in there, and then the base. Oh, okay, that's really cute. The base is actually quite small. Let me just pop all that away. Um, let's rip this open. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it. <laughs> I have to find somewhere for it. Um, himself is not enthusiastic about Superman himself, so I'm not sure where I'm going to where it's going to go. But so yeah, because that's backwards. But there you go. There is out of the um, the case. Obviously, it's see through. So. Yeah, but put it up against my shirt and you can um sorry hoodie for the pedants out there but so you can see the detailing on it so i quite like that uh, so he just pops in there and go, judging by the box i'm guessing the light is blue is there a trick to getting it in or just popping it in so yeah in terms of content it's mostly been dc based but that's okay because they've been quality items um i now have two rick and morty t-shirts that i um, shut up my little pony i now have two rick and morty t-shirts that i've um never worn because i've not seen rick and morty but i'll have to put that definitely have to put that high on my list now that will give it away to someone who does like rick and morty well, I happen to be the same size as. So someone might be giving me a new t-shirt soon. And that goes there. Sorry. And then obviously just plug it in the back here. I'm assuming it's not going to come automatically. I have to press the button. You can do it like me. Okay, and uh oh! Oh that is very cool. That I like. Oh, okay, I don't have to hold the button. And it goes there. 
All right, let me see if I can. Because oh, obviously last time I got really enthusiastic and tried to turn the light out, the effect didn't really work. Nope, I did that. Oh, I'm going to trip over it. Okay, give me a, give me a moment. <sighs> Need to prop it on some things. Is that? Okay, back in a moment. <sighs> Cool, that is. Let's make sure that is coming up on camera. Yep. That, that. There we go, bring it in closer now. Obviously there's a bit of lens flare. Sorry about that, give me a second. No, that just made it smudgier. That is, that is um, quite obviously um, JJ Abrams trick. It's not lens flare, it's just his lenses are a bit grubby. But, um, I like this. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I like it. It's very cool. So, yeah. Again, probably not something I would necessarily have gone out and bought from the shop myself. But now I have it. It's, um, not something I regret owning. And there he is from the back. And from the top. You all believe a man can fly. Woo! Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Okay, let me just put the light back on. Back in a second. Ah, talk about yourselves. So, um, yeah. Interesting box. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, so obviously we've we've got all these items because it's the bigger box next month is going to be the small size i'm not sure why the um clue was batman when i mean yeah there's a batman coaster and there's batman on this picture but otherwise it's just been general dc marvel family guy maybe the card says something different so what do you reckon for this about 10 15 quid maybe don't know so let's see what the card says. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So we could have had Batman or Superman light. Personally, I'm, I, I'm happy with the Superman light because I like Superman more. I grew up with Superman. Um, haven't seen Man of Steel. Like I said, I like Superman. Um, I would have been okay with the Batman figure, but I'm, I'm happy that I got the Superman one. Um, and as I said, this is licensed, it's not exclusive. The box itself was 20. This is 20. This is the value of the box on its own. Everything else is gravy. Um, so licensed Family Guy pencil case. Um, licensed, oh yeah, the stylus was £4. Tenner for the t-shirt. The t-shirt's an exclusive. Um... And the print is an exclusive, but the coasters are not. So, 40, uh, 50, about 55 quid for a 20 pound box. We're looking at um, 55 quid's worth of items. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with that. The um, Hint is, looks like, is that the old Nintendo? So it looks like next month is gamer related, which would be cool. So yeah, um, we've got the, the light, which is, so is the price of the box. We've got the pencil case, which is kind of cool, and I, I might actually use the things out of it, or... I don't know, I, mean, I might just take the, the pencils out of this, because this is quite bulky, and just use them separately. Uh, this I like, £4. I wouldn't buy this in a shop for that price, but it's... You know, the stylus is always handy, and the pen's good. Um, need to do it about that. I do like the coasters. They are pretty coasters. I just don't tend to use them very often. So they'll probably go into storage for a while. It's a nice art print, just not my fandom. But it's, it is cool, so I'll give it... You know, the artist did a good job. Well done, you. 
and then obviously the t-shirt of t-shirtiness that is something I don't watch <laughs> but is genuinely a very cool t-shirt so I can't really complain it's really thick it's um good material so is this a good trade-off from four Harry Potter t-shirts yeah honestly it's uh there we go get rid of that um yeah I mean as I said not something I've watched but something I've been intending to watch and it's an amazing bright t-shirt um not my fandom but really good art I have seen it and this is cool because I like stationery these are really nice coasters I just probably won't use them because I don't use coasters generally that's just practical and that's just awesome so overall yes this box is a complete and total win I'm happy and now he's off oh wow look at that that changed the focus well, you know, my, my camera does actually have some water focus and light reduction stuff. So, yeah, um, I will probably get next month, assuming I've had trouble renewing my um, payments, but that's that's something I need to look at myself. And um, if you want to get really weird about it, I also have a bookmark, which is the backing from the thing, but useful. It's the right shape for a bookmark. It's totally the right shape and size for a bookmark. Um, but yeah, this... Uh, for the for at least next month, because the um, gaming theme could be quite good, um, especially if that is Nintendo. So, what? See, the Nintendo or Sega, more likely it's Nintendo. But if it's Sega, it's going to be Sonic the Hedgehog, which is fine because I like Sonic the Hedgehog. If it's Nintendo, it's probably going to be heavy heavy on Mario, which I don't mind because Mario stuff is still cool. But Legend of Zelda, if it's if it's I like that. Um. But yeah, this is this has been good. I'll I'll definitely get at least next month, and see what they send me, because I've got to see the standard size box. I've got to see how it compares. Um, but yeah, um, happy I got Superman rather than Batman, so that's very cool. I've got to work out where I'm going to put it. Maybe in the bedroom somewhere, like a good nightlight. I'll double check the instructions, see what I can do with it. But yeah, anyway, um, thank you for watching. This has been um, this has been a fun box. This has been a fun unboxing. So, yes, thank you for watching. Um, yep, yeah, thank you for watching. Yes, me, I'm I'm here. I'm 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 there on Twitter and I'm, I'm there on Tumblr, and I'm rambling now. So, like, share, comment, subscribe, all the groovy stuff. I've been Michelle. You've been listening. Thank you very much. I will see you next time. Bye.